The National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa has advised its members in the steel sector to prepare for any potential outcomes as it engages in wage negotiation with employers in the bargaining council. The union is requesting wage increases that surpass the inflation rate. NIMSA, which is South Africa's largest trade union boasting over 450,000 members, presented its demands for a 7% increase in the first year and 6% increases for the subsequent two years during the initial round of talks at the Metals Engineering Industry Bargaining Council on the 10th of April. NIMSA spokesperson Pagamile Tlubi Majola highlights that workers in the industry have experienced two consecutive years of income losses, making it difficult for those with lower salaries to cover their expenses. The National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa has submitted its demands as part, it is one of the unions representing the largest number of workers in the Metals and Engineering Industries Bargaining Council. We just had the first round of talks and we're expecting another round of talks on the 24th of April. In terms of our demands, yes, NUMSA is demanding an above inflation increase. We are also, uh, we, we, we are motivated by the fact that our members are going through a lot of financial strain. The South African economy is not doing well. The cost of living is extremely high. The lowest paid workers earning 59 Rand and 10 cents per hour. So we think that an above inflation increase is a reasonable demand given the very, very difficult economic situation that workers and their families are facing. At the same time, we are also aware of the challenges facing the steel industry, um, and which is why we have said that we are demanding a 7% increase for the first year and 6% increase for the second and third year. We've also said that because the majority of workers in this sector do not have access to affordable housing because they earn too much to qualify for RDP, but they earn too little to qualify for loans and home loans, uh, we are saying that the industry must also ring fence 2 billion rand in order for workers and their families to be able to access affordable housing. We, are, we feel that these demands are very reasonable. We reject those who say that a demand for an above inflation increase is not fair. We think we've been very fair. We've been very conscious on the pressures on business, but we're also even more conscious of the suffering of workers and their families. And I think people have to remember that this economy is built off the hard work of workers themselves. They are the ones who are creating the wealth. They are the ones who are responsible for businesses performing well, and they must be taken care of in terms of whatever increases that are secured. And the final point we have to make is that whatever increase that is secured, it must be secured on the actual rates of pay, not on the minimum rates of pay. What this means is that if, for example, we settle on a 7% increase, then that 7% increase must be based on what a worker is actually earning and not what the minimum rate is in that particular grade.